So let's look at coat colour in tortoiseshell cats. So we, you say that there's co-dominant sex-linked alleles. Mm -hmm. So co-dominant alleles, so co-dominant, you give it a capital. So we've got B for black, and we'll use R for orange, because O is an awful thing to use. Yeah. So we've B. Um, because it's co-dominant, they get capitals. Um, because it's sex-linked, mm -hmm. we're going to put them on the X chromosome. Yeah. Now, if we take an example where we have a, um, a cat that is orange, mm -hmm. and we make it special friends with a black cat, which is a black male cat. Yeah. Now, these are then going to produce gametes, because these are obviously diploid, and we're going to produce haploid gametes. And those haploid gametes are going to be this one, because mm -hmm. this is a homozygote, because this is a what colour cat? Orange. Orange, and this colour is black. black. Okay, now this is a homozygote that's going to produce that. And then this the um, dad is going to produce Y, like that. Now what we're going to get there is we're going to get well, from this cross the females are going to be tortoiseshell yeah. and the males are going to be orange. Yeah. Now the, way, the reason you can't get a male tortoiseshell can mm -hmm. is that males are heterogametic, that they produce different gametes because they have an X and a Y. Yes. Females are homogametic, so females can carry the black and the orange yeah. and can, have a, can be then therefore tortoiseshell, yeah. whereas males can only carry either the black or the orange. Yeah. Now the trick with sex linkage is to remember that boys get the Y chromosome from their dads, which mm -hmm. is what makes them a boy. They get the X chromosome from their mother. So that when you're doing the sex link questions, yeah. if you know the phenotype of the boy, yeah. then that gamete had to be in the mother. So, for instance, if they tell you that the um, one of the one of the uh, male cats was black, so one of the offspring cats, then you can go back and say, well, that gamete must have been in the mother. Yeah. If they tell you that one of the female cats is orange, one of the female cats is orange. then you know that that female cat that's orange is homozygous. So that allele must have been in the mother, mm -hmm. but it also must have been in the father. Yeah. So if you have, say, a cross that produced an orange male, mm -hmm. sorry, an orange female and a black male, mm -hmm. then that black male must have got this one from his mother. Yeah. So the mother must have had that allele. Mm -hmm. Well, if you produce a female that is orange, then they have to be a homozygote. So they had to get this one. That had to be the other allele. So yeah. you then worked out where the other allele in it is in the mother. However, for it still to be a homozygote, then that allele has to come from the father. Yeah. So that's how you work out, you know, okay. Yeah. From from what the phenotype is of the offspring, yeah. you then go back and derive what the genotype must have been of the parent. Yeah. Um.